hello and welcome to my channel i wasn't going to film this video today but because i have just a little bit of more brighter day let's say i'm going to do a lip swatch on all these maximal uh, lipsticks from mac cosmetics i already have a video with swatching them on my hands uh, but yeah, I was waiting for a more luminosity day. We'll start with Viva Glam. So we do have four shades in here. I think three are um, the existing shades that it was Viva Glam 1, 2, 3. And then uh, there is one, a new one. And I'll try Viva Planet. Uh, now the packaging, it is different. Uh, you do have red and MAC, it is here, uh, written, and the uh, uh, size of the lipstick, uh, how much quantity you get, it is uh, bigger or so, it is uh, Viva Planet. So this is how Viva Planet looks on me, definitely it's not a lipstick that I will wear it by self, definitely I will pair this with a lip liner. It's more like a mute pink purplish in it. It does look different in the bullet and then how it looks on my lips. Uh, it gives me that concealer lips with a little bit of pink purplish in it. I do not love this color, at least not by itself. Have Viva Equality, same packaging black with that red. Uh, case let's say i think this one it will be more suited for me so yes definitely this is a shade that i will wear it this is a shade that i'm wearing winter autumn time uh, this is like a rich brown shade i do love it i do like it very very much um and i think it's suited at least with the makeup that i have today uh so this is viva equality I write the names here, uh, so I don't have to say it every single time. Next shade we have, it's Viva Heart. And this is like a red shade. We shall see exactly how much red it is. So definitely this is a red, a deeper red. Um, maybe with a little wine in it. It is a beautiful red lipstick. I do like it. It's not my kind of red vibes, let's say, but I definitely will wear this at the night time out. Um, this is beautiful. And you do have, uh, you do need, I think, a lip liner with this. It's very easy to overline and uh, yeah, smudge the lipstick, uh, but really pretty color. Uh, Viva Empowered. And I think this is more like a purpley, burgundy shade. So this is definitely a burgundy shade, really pretty. Uh, more on the vampy side, I do like it. However, these are matte. However, when you apply them, they glide really creamy, really easily. So the application of this is not the best one. So just ignore that. Uh, but the colors, are, this is really nice. I didn't imagine. It's more like a deeper wine sh um, shade. Really, really beautiful. We'll be moving to the nudes. It will be kind of the same category that I use when I uh, realize the hand swatches. First nude that I'm going to try is going to be Warm Teddy. This is like a new shade uh, from MAC. This is one of my favorites, actually. Uh, it is the first one that I bought it. And I bought this when I was traveling and I was wearing this. So I really, really like uh, this new shade. How warm Teddy looks. It is a beautiful everyday nude maroon rosy shade. I do love it and like it very much to wear it just like this. I think, uh, I don't know, it's just one and done. Um, really easy to apply these lighter shades or nude shades than the bold ones. Next one, it is Velvet Teddy. This is a cult uh, favorite for very many years. Um, however, this was not my favorite over the time. I do think this is different a little bit than the original one. Um, so yeah, this will be Velvet Teddy. Velvet Teddy looks 
definitely pairing with a lip liner by itself i don't like it i am not a huge fan of this shade so this is velvet teddy next shade it is cafe mocha It is um, a shade that I don't like or dislike. Um, it is okay, I feel like it's not something that I will say wow, at least on me, but it is pretty. For me, the name doesn't match with the color. If you ask me, Cafe Mocha, it gives me to, it's just going me to the cafe shade. This looks, I don't know, nothing like at least a coffee color that i will think about but this is cafe mocha next we have mullet to the max is how it looks in the bullet so mullet to the max definitely this has more corally pitch in it i do love this more i think for the summertime it is going to be very nice um, it matches my blush actually and this look I do love this one so we have taupe and this is how it looks in the bullet I mean you already if you watch the swatch hand swatch video you already know how this looks and how the hand swatch look so this is taupe definitely a new that I will choose for like an everyday shade really pretty this one the last one from the nudes it is world this is i think the darkest of them all so, so this is world my lips are starting to feel the dryness because i just um, filmed another video and here it started to rain a little bit so hopefully the light is still going to be good but this is world next i think these are like the pinks uh we do have some like a very bright pink ganty yum yum and then three more muted and first we have mare this is how mare looks definitely this is more on the pink purplish side uh probably by itself i will never use it uh if i'm thinking this has to be a little bit different shade than the original mare uh, but it's a shade that i don't like or dislike it is okay i think on me i do enjoy it in a way next shade it is called you wouldn't get it how it looks more powerful version of the previous one of mare it's more purpley pink in a way it's a nice shade i think for summertime it will look nice um i do love it however i didn't expect to love it but i do like it so this is uh you wouldn't get it next shade it is twig twist this is how it looks now this definitely it's more with an intense purple <clears throat> it does have a little bit of brown in my opinion um, it is more wearable in a way and i do like this shade i think from all this pink purplish uh, this i like it more it is really really pretty on me i do like it how it looks uh, it's a little bit of wine shade with purple and pink but it is nice so this is twig twist and i will be applying candy yum yum maybe i'll be removing it with a uh, basic uh, so it doesn't leave the pigment so this is a very bright pink shade not something that i will wear probably it's not something that i will wear often probably in videos or combination with some lip liners but not as it is okay to be honest um in a way i do like 
very much how this shade look on me uh, definitely my younger version of me would love to have this uh, definitely a party go uh, look I don't know it's something in this color on me it goes a little bit on the purple it's like vibrant it's a little bit uh, I, I don't know it's catching your eyes um, do love it very much I will not deny it is something that I will not wear it as it is in like day to day life but I do love this one very very much it's uh, I don't know it changed this complete look to a whole other level didn't expect that really really pretty this one so uh, Kenny Yum Yum it is a lipstick that leaves a stain um, I did remove it with Bifezic and I did rub it again and again my lips with some micellar water I do still have some and I will apply just some concealer uh, and blend that uh, just because I do want to have all this in one video <clears throat> um, yeah the color of the lips now uh, it is a little bit changed but my lips look uh, a little bit more on the pinky side now uh, we will continue with uh, the reds let's say uh, I think this also will going to give me a little bit of stain first it is sugar dada this is sugar dada sugar dada definitely this is the perfect red orange terracotta lipstick it does have orange in it uh, i hope the camera picks the color very good uh it is the perfect lipstick for me for my vibes this is the kind of red that i wear it and i'm always searching uh so this is sugar dada one of my favorites from this collection next shade is going to be lady danger and this is also like a, an orange lip now the light it's uh, a little bit gone let's say but hopefully we still have enough and this is definitely more a true orange lipstick it does have more orange than the previous one than the sugar dada this is Lady Danger. Definitely, um, I will wear this shade a lot in the summertime. It is the perfect orange for me. Of course, it's not a pure orange orange. It does have red, but it does, in my opinion, have more orange than red. Uh, and it's very bright. Uh, if you will have to choose be between Lady Danger and Sugar Dada, I, and if you want something more muted, more less in Brighton, Sugar that I think it's more like a red orange terracotta lipstick. It's more muted, uh, and this is more bright and definitely it is a vibrant color, uh, but it is a beautiful one, really really beautiful. And I do like that uh, this apply really good. They are not patchy, and even though I swatch a lot of lipsticks today, even on my dry exhausted lips now, they still look good. So this is a, like a huge plus for these lipsticks. This one, it is no correlation. This is more like a corally uh, lipstick. This is how it looks in the bullet. And this is no correlation. A corally peachy shade, really pretty in my opinion. Again, a perfect summer spring summertime uh, color that I will wear it. I do like it how it looks um it it goes well with this more tan look that i have um, on me so i do love this color and i think this time uh, the or these colors that i do pick up from mac in the red version uh, it's my kind of vibes let's say i do love so far uh, what i've tried all of them we shall see in the next ones next one it is overstatement I think this one it is like new color from MAC it is more bold more intense I think this is also like a red terracotta um, lipstick 
but this is kind of the lighter version of sugar dada the sugar dada was a little bit more red and dark and this is more brightened but not as bright as uh, how it was called the lady danger and this is how overstatement looks on me <clears throat> definitely it is a terracotta orange lipstick it does have orange uh, it is in shade overstatement i will link all the names uh, above uh, very very pretty all over the season i do love it very very much if you want to see like the difference between them go to see my hand swatches uh, i think that is going to be very visible and noticeable uh, then it is on my lips next shade i'm going to try it is marrakesh so this i think the color has changed a little bit as i remembered this is how it looks definitely a terracotta lipstick with more brown um this color i do think i have something similar from dior this is pretty I search for this kind of colors during autumn winter time. This is Marrakesh. Very very pretty. Excuse the bad application because it is the, not the perfect one. Uh, but at this point I kind of don't feel my lips anymore. But this is beautiful. More dark and more brown. A little bit of orange. Uh, perfect. This I think I like it more than the original Marrakesh. And I think uh, I will make a dedicated video comparing uh, these ones with uh, at least the ones that I have in my collection. Um, so I think it will be better that way. If you're still here, please don't forget to give me a like. I don't always say, I mean, I never say this, but it kind of helps my channel when you receive a like or a comment. And uh, it does uh, let me know that you are watching and you kind of like of course if you like it it's not something mandatory but uh yeah so i'm thankful if you do so uh the rest one the next one it is russian red and i realized that i forget to buy the most iconic red uh russia not russian red because this is russian red the ruby Woo. I don't have it probably i'll purchase that just for like comparison it's not my kind of red but i know it's loved by many people so let's try russian red so this is russian red definitely a red color it is in my opinion it does have a little bit of wine uh, not my kind of red that i will wear it it is pretty however i do love it uh, i think more for like special occasion maybe some with a classic black eyeliner with it i think it'll go it does have a wine purplish in it this uh, red and i do like it very very much so this was russian red the last shade of red that i have it it is chili uh, so this is chili so this is chili this was one of my favorite uh, red terracotta lipstick that i own we will see if it's like the same this is chili i do love it it is really really pretty um i am happy that they came out with so many orange red terracotta orange and combo of that um just because i do personally love them so this is like a personal choice we do have four more shades these are more like on the purple side and then we have a completely black, black lipstick so i will go first with uh, the lightest shade in here which is soar uh, and I think these are in the berry group uh, colors, let's say. Yeah, so this is Soar. You do have, I do have stain for all the red lipsticks. But this is a beautiful purplish. I wouldn't say berry, for me it goes more, of course it's like a berry color, but it's more like a plum uh to me it is really pretty uh not the best application but i do love this one actually i think it is nice 
dark shade it is d from danger uh, which is darkened and sore okay this is an intense wine shade really pretty you don't i think need a lip liner with this one this is a deep burgundy shade wine shade definitely not the best application but at this point uh, i just want this swatches to be done with to be honest really pretty really for a night out um, of course you can apply a lip liner and then just tap this like in a sheer more uh, sheer way let's say a d from danger the deeper shade even more vampy than the previous one which is called sin sin is something that i did not purchase at the beginning but then i saw a vampy cherry look let's say with this one and then i order it uh, together with a lip liner which uh, i'm not going to try it yet in the shade cyber world i do have it here and this is more intense and i don't know it's got darkened now but i hope i still have good light so this is seen It's a very deep burgundy shade. Definitely a night out. Uh, it ha does have a plum, a little bit of black, I think, in it. The application it's not, however, the best, of course. Um, but I do love the color. I don't think I own so much dark purplish color in my kit. So I think this is nice for if you want to try or have something different in your collection or if you like this kind of vibes why not because uh, we are different and uh, yeah but this is gorgeous and this also stained so the more vibrant colors that that have like a powerful pigment in them they will leave a stain to your lips so if you want, let's say, to apply that and then you change your mind and you have to apply something more muted or you have to go somewhere, keep in mind that thing. Because otherwise you'll be having a little bit of problem removing this from your lips. Um, so yeah, the last, last shade, it is the black one, the caviar. Um, this is my first completely matte uh, black matte, uh, black lipstick. I don't have any kind of uh, lipstick in this shade. Uh, I think it's a, uh, unique to have it in my collection. Will I wear it? No. Again, just for videos. Uh, in real life, I don't think I will wear it. Uh, so, yeah. But that being said, this is the last shade. So, let's try it. This is caviar. In my opinion, this is not the blackest black lipstick. Um, it doesn't have that black opacity. From some reason, I've seen I see some green in it, and a little bit of like gray, silvery gray. That makes sense. It's at least it's something that I've seen. Do need a lip liner. Uh, definitely it's not black it does have some other undertones in it it's not completely black as in here this i also realized when i was hand swatching uh this if you look to my blows it is like a dark blue it looks like a dark blue with a little bit of green i don't know uh, it is what i've seen uh in here so this completed my maximal lipstick swatches, all the shades that I have. Uh, now, whatever I will be buying in the future, I will not redo. Maybe if I have like better light with sun to see for you to see exactly how this looks in direct sun, because now it is natural light, but I did have some uh, bright light at the beginning, but now it is gone. Uh, Definitely if I will do like this with the blouse, it's definitely more like a deeper blue shade. You can see this is a deeper blue shade. So if I will make it like this, it's kind of going that that way. It's not uh, like black like this one, let's say. This is not like this. 
uh, but yeah this is what I've seen um, this was my video I was watching I will remove this and apply uh, a lip balm or lip mask I don't know my lips are like screaming right now uh, so yeah thanks for watching I will um, link uh, in the description box where you can find these lipsticks I mean you can find them I think everywhere uh mac cosmetics websites usually and then the local stores that you have in your country but i will link everything down below if you shop to my links it also help in my channel so i'm very thankful for that uh, if you're giving me a like or comment also it's helping my channel so um yeah if you like what i do please uh, support uh, my channel so that being said i wish you a great day and see you next time bye bye